Fishing News is brought to you by Navionics, Okuma, Yozori, Evinrude, and the Star Island Yacht Club in Montauk. I'm Jim Hutchinson with the New Jersey Delaware Bay edition of the Fisherman Magazine here at Grassy Sound Marina in North Wildwood. Beautiful sunny day this week. Some folks out on the pier checked in with them catching some crabs this week. And for those of you who think the back bay fluking is done, fear not. There are still a few fish to be caught back here. As a matter of fact, Brian Schaefer of Wildwood checked in here with the folks at Grassy Sound just the other day with a quick limit, his three fish limit, caught someplace back here. Now, a lot of the folks here at the marina are trying to hook up with some of the sheep's head that a lot of times at high tide, you'll see swimming right under the pilings here at the end of their pier. Sheep's head hanging around the pilings and also, of course, on these bridge stanchions right here in North Wildwood. Great opportunity for you to hook up and uh, certainly come down here one of these days and check them out. Uh, of course, get Captain Dan Schaefer of Insomniac Guide Service, he runs for sheep's heads around here, puts them on those bottom sweeper jigs. You know what the deal is, you can use those greenies, the shedder crabs, uh, fiddler crabs, perhaps high-low or your typical tog, tog style rigging, and of course the crab jigs that you use uh, for those tog as well to go for the sheep's head. Now, I myself was out this past Friday, I was trying out my brand new toy, the new Minn Kota Tarova trolling motor that I picked up and had installed at Octopus Yachts. Now, I didn't get the sheep's head I was looking for up in Great Bay. My first official catch with the Minn Kota was a trigger fish, and there's plenty of those little triggers around a lot of the inlet jetties, around the wrecks and rock piles. Just remember, you want to go with smaller hooks to hook up with some of those trigger fish. Try clam, fish bites, or even sand crabs. And of course, tog too on those inlet rocks and around some of this structure as well as of august 1st we have our one blackfish limit back that late summer single season or single fish bag for the rest of this season a 15 incher as of august 1st if you catch it you can keep that tog now if you're looking for some more action in the back bays think up around barnegat bay uh, those blowfish have been on fire from a lot of the folks that are telling me uh, think around the spots like the research buoy in barnegat bay i know tony maja he, he put away his bunker spoon and gear and exchanged it for a, tr a chum pot and some clam strips. But again, some of those blo blowfish limits, uh, catches, uh, guys are coming back with, they're keeping busy at the filet table, but real tasty dinners. Now on to the fluke, because we have a big one to report this week. I'm not sure if you saw this or not. A big doormat on the Hudson over the weekend, right there near the statue. Captain Vinny Veter's catfish out of Great Kills on Staten Island. Now, Captain Vinny, he loves fishing for striped bass. He's not doing fluke charters. He was live line in Big Bunker for striped bass up there. Yes, even in the dead of summer, hooked up with this big fish that was weighed in at Soft Mud Yacht Club up there around the Great Kills area. 15 pounds, six ounces weighed in at the shop. Now I saw some weights as high as 16 and a half pounds online, but anything over 15, that's the biggest fluke that I've heard of this 2019 summer flounder season. Another rare and bay doormat that we found out about over the weekend doing reports was Chris Miller fishing with his buddy Mark Laird on Mark's boat Saturday in Sandy Hook Bay, 12 pounds, two ounces, registered in over at upfront bait and tackle so yes the doormats are on the prowl and of course that's good timing too with the 22nd annual fluke masters tournament out of leonardo this weekend 22 years that's a good tournament isn't it call jeff if you want details on this saturday's fluke tournament 732-291-0073 now, throughout the New Jersey uh, coast, all along the New Jersey coast, the party boats are now getting in on that fluke action. Uh, they're working those various lumps, bumps, humps, and wrecks. The big Mohawk out of Shark River. Uh, some of those other boats, the party boats out of Belmar, are getting on some of those wrecks for some big fish. I wouldn't be surprised if now's the time that the rattlesnake is giving up a couple of big fish. In the Manasquan area, Brielle, Point Pleasant, some good fish along the rails on party boats there, too, like the Jamaica, too hooked up with some fish up to eight pounds and over and again doing reports this week we found out that parts of the Axel Carlson reef site were putting together some good catches for people in the Barnegat light area 
uh, the Miss Barnegat light or the Carolyn Ann 3 here. Uh, sticking a few good fish outside of LBI. I think the tires are maybe down to the south of Little Egg Inlet and uh, the Little Egg Great Egg Reefs down into Cape May County here uh, in addition to some flounder we call them down here. Uh, big triggers in the mix with bluefish as well for boats like the Cape May Lady as well. Now don't give up on that surf action just yet either. I know it's been mostly kingfish out front. You got those rays coming in, but Smitty here, he had a 34 inch bluefish in Atlantic City just the other day. That's what he reported in to me. And of course, I heard from the mighty E-Rock who stepped away from the podcast doing his Eagles football talk to sand a couple of keeper fluke on the beach in Holgate to 21 and a half inches. We have a mid-range offshore update, but let's stay Philly focused for just one more minute as we check in with George, our Pocono Outdoors guy. Well, hey, thanks, Jim. You know, we are finally here. This is the dreaded dog days of summer. But you know what? The hot, oppressive, 90-degree, muggy days doesn't mean you can't get on fish. Uh, I know the topwater bite for, for bass has been great with the topwater frogs and whopper prop ploppers first thing in the morning and late in the evenings, getting guys on some tremendous largemouth. But don't forget their, their big cousin, too, the bronzeback, smallmouth bass. All you got to do is look at any post on the Susquehanna River, and then guys are getting into some beefy, chunky smallmouths. Hit those things deep with like the Helgramite baits and some jigs, and you're in for a good time. Now, don't forget, summer also means catfishing at night. I grew up on the Delaware River. Catfishing at night was one of our favorite things to do as a kid. Getting out on the Susquehanna or, or the Delaware for some flatheads and channel cats is a great evening of fun. So you guys get out with a line from Pennsylvania. This is George, your Pocono Outdoors guy. The Huber boys, Dennis and young Tommy here, hit Barnegat and AC Ridge recently for Spanish mackerel and mahi. Now Dennis told me, quote, warm water and clear down to about 60 feet. Pretty cool stuff when you're able to get those mahi in close. And again, Spanish mackerel, bonito throughout the range. And down here in South Jersey, some of the folks hitting the lumps are also reporting on some king mackerel as well. The big bull mahi of the week that we heard of was down in Ocean City, Maryland. Just above Poor Man's Canyon, Jeff Wright of Cambridge, Maryland, 72.8 pounds. What a heck of a bull there. That was a new Maryland state record if that holds up. 72 pounds and caught that while they were pre-fishing for the 46th annual White Marlin Open. That tournament is coming up this coming week, August 5th through 9th. A lot of the big canyon runners are going to be fishing that classic tournament. You could find more information by going to whitemarlinopen.com. Of course, in Central Jersey, we just wrapped up the Beach Haven Marlin and Tuna Club's White Marlin Invitational. I gotta wish congratulations to Captain Leanne Lopez. Yes, Miss Leanne ran Bill Burris's Molina in the White Marlin Invitational last week. Now, Leanne, who's getting ready to go to college in a couple of weeks. She captained that 60-foot Bertram to a white marlin championship for most white marlin caught and released. Captain Leanne, congratulations. We'll be hearing more about Miss Leanne in the future, I'm sure. Interesting tale north of here, Ocean City. Well, Don Mace of Ocean City, he was out about three miles off of Sea Isle City last week, encountered this 35-foot, 10-ton juvenile humpback tangled up in rope from, I guess, a string of conch pots. He called the Marine Mammal Stranding Center who told him, just stay there, Don, we need your help on this. Don stayed at the scene until the Coast Guard arrived. The folks from the Stranding Center spent about four hours unfreeing that humpback before she swam off on her way. We are seeing quite a few reports with all this bait around. There's a lot of bait out front. We're getting reports of humpbacks in the Delaware Bay as well as the Raritan Bay. Definitely a beautiful scene. If you want to get out on a nice calm day with the kids, take the family. If you're out drifting for fluke, you might encounter one of these beautiful humpbacks as well. Finally, now that we are into August, we're mo one month away from the striped bass bonus tag season here in New Jersey. I have a full write-up in this week's edition of the Fisherman Magazine, we used up just 3% of the overall commercial quota that can't get used because we have game fish status in New Jersey. 3% of that quota went to the bonus program last year. Now, if you want to get in on that single slot fish, it starts September 1st, but you can get on, register, and get your tags right now. Go to njfishandwildlife.com for details on that. 
Here at Grassy Sound Marina, I talked to Joe who said he's been catching stripers out on a pier just about every night, under the lights and especially at high water. If you're interested in coming down and taking a look at this beautiful pier, maybe doing some crabbing, going for some of these sheep's head, or maybe try some of those stripers at night, just $6.50 for adults all day, under five free. Get information here at Grassy Sound Marina. I'm gonna go scout out some sheep's head right now, or maybe see how the crabbers are doing. Catch them up this weekend. We'll see you again next Next week, right here at thefisherman.com. Win the incredible Steigercraft, Evan Rood Lawrence Grand Prize Boat Package, and more in the Fisherman's 2019 Dream Boat Fishing Challenge. Get the details now at thefisherman.com.